Hi, I'm Brett Reitmeyer, uh, VP of Sales and Marketing for Mountain View Window and Door. And on this episode of MVTV, we're going to be discussing using engineered evaluations that Anderson provides to engineer or pre-engineer for our customer a complex mall situation. In this case, so Brett, you're gonna, we're gonna go in and design this, uh, how to get the DP rating for one of these complicated systems that we at Mountain View Window are experts on, right? That's correct. This is gonna be exciting. Yeah, and here we have a complex mall configuration. We've got a fixed window underneath, we've got a twin casement, and then we've got a fixed window. The key to this is we can treat these individual mall structures as units using the engineered evaluations that are on the Anderson Eagle website. So we're going to be attaching these windows to make one that kind of yellow thing around there is one big rough opening basically that we're going to help educate our customers on how to get the proper structure and rating to put that all together, right? Correct. And the key is that Anderson's already done the work for this and these engineered evaluations are available at eaglewindow.com. Under their intelligence section, down at the bottom where it says performance data. So we click performance data, we go down to the very bottom where it says engineered evaluations. We, we're in a non-impact area, so we click that. The first thing that we would want to know is that casement in the center, how does that meet by itself? So we're doing, doing a multiple wide mold casement. And here you see two casements, and the two key dimensions for us are the mall span, which in this case is the overall height of these casement units, and let's just call them six footers. And then the mall width. And let's say in this case these are 30 inches. You've got two widths here then in this mall. These two widths, the one on the left and the one on the right, are the tributary widths. In this case, it's just 30 inches each. So we're going to scroll down, Devin's going to scroll down for us to the zero mole category. And we're going to see, if scroll down a little further, we're going to see this tributary width equation that shows width one and width two in the case, in this case are the same, 30 inches divided by two. So we know our tributary width is 30 inches. In some cases, though, we'll have a tributary width for one unit that is one width, and then we may have a picture unit beside it that's 50 or 60 inches wide. The, what this is showing you that, is that you can take those two, add them together, divide by two, and that's your overall tributary width for the purposes of this equation to plug into the chart. So now we'll go back up to the chart, and in this case, we've got 30 inches as the tributary width, and we've got um, 72 inches in height, and you'll see that even with a zero mole, that easily hits a DP45. So that then the math is done on that unit. That unit is okay by itself. But then how do we plug that into where we've got a fixed unit above it or a fixed unit below? There is another engineered report covering T moles. This is a T mole where you've got two moles coming together. And so Devin's going to take us to that t mole chart, which is back at the Eagle. So now we see that this unit is being figured ahead of time as a zero mole. And now we're going to look at this mole across horizontally and see whether or not we can make that fit. Now we already had, in the case of uh, our display, of the unit that we're figuring that this was 72 inches in height. This top piece, we're going to say, is 36 inches in height. Okay. So 72 and 36 is 108. Divided by 2 in the formula, divided by 2 in the formula actually equals 54. So 54 we plug in then to this width here, and then the, the last thing we needed is the volume span, and remember that was 30 inches wide twice, so that was 60 inches. So at the 60 inch volume span, with 
the tributary of 54, you can see we're, we're nowhere near the design pressure we need with a zero mole. That's 22 and 20, and we need 45. So failing under the zero mole chart, we're going to cruise down to the next chart, which is the one inch chart. Now here's the same thing with a one inch by three and a half inch LBL. We're going to do the same thing. That's Brett, why don't you explain that what from the sheet up here, what we mean by that with our display at Mountain View Window and Door. So we have a display, a full size display here that shows a zero mole, a two inch back, here's a zero mole, which is a unit mole directly to itself. The next thing is a two inch factory mole where there's actually LVL material from the factory. And then finally we've got an independent structure mole where the, the mulling material is being is independent structure. In the case of uh, our display, it's two two bys, but it could be an inch and three quarter LVL or two LVLs together. But that's going to be independent structure. We're going to have shim space on either side of that. And then we're going to cover that with accessory mounts. Cool. So going back to this uh, chart then, the engineered evaluation from Anderson, we have a 60 inch span. Now we come across again to our 54 inches and bam. You go to the next one, 56, it definitely meets the DP45. So that covers that horizontal mall. And since that horizontal mall is only reflective of these two units, if we have another unit above it or another unit below that, we can use the same formula to determine what the mall is. Now we also know that there's, in back to our display, or back to our trial case, that's calculated the top one. The bottom one is basically identical, so the math applies there too. And so that means you can do a one inch LBL there and a one inch LBL there from the factory and this entire unit then will meet a DP of 45. So just to recap that, so if the customer requires us to have a DP 45, which that's what we need to get from the engineer or the architect of record to tell us what the design pressure needs to be, then we will, if they say 45 is what it needs to be, we just showed you how this, this red line up here is a one inch LBL with a zero with the casement in between and that system all calculated out at a 46 so we do meet the criteria. Correct. Perfect. So if you need help understanding DP rating, we're your experts here at Mount Window and Door, right? Yep. So between those two tables, the numbers I'm assuming are different because yeah, it's I got the meeting tables. with Eric here. Right. So did that help hit yeah, so okay. the team all table the numbers are much of Don, last time. Yeah. I don't know if you had any critiques or anything. This video we need to send. Because <laughs> this is like...